All right, Michigander. Here's what you need to do in Firebot. If you go into your events, I've created a event set using a little plus sign called entrances, which I have you only cats and uh, turtles so far. So you're going to hit a new event and you're going to want to look for viewer arrived for an event. And it's a very, very interesting, right? They, they give you a good uh, idea of what it means. Twitch, when a viewer initially chats in any given stream. So they arrive, the first thing they say, they trigger this. So if they're not chatting, well, too bad for them. They don't get their, uh, their shout out. But if they chat, it will automatically trigger. So let's uh, show you one that I've already done. Just going to edit the one. So if you were arrived, this is your trigger. Name, that's what I've called it, Diddly Turtle Arrived. Here you're going to need to um, do a filter. And if you hit the add filter, username is, and then type in the value. So the Diddly Turtle is what I've done there. Make sure it's enabled. And then you can start adding effects. So you'll see I've got a chat effect first, and then a firebot shadow, and then a delay, because of my video is a little bit short. So I try and run a 10 second delay for people that I know, or a 10 second shout out. And um, my video is four seconds. So I'd add a four or five, six seconds. I'd add a four, four second delay. And then I've got a personalized chat. So first chat looks like this. Um, edit effect. My bot sends out a little welcome back to the igloo. Uh, dollar sign user is the variable for the user that entered. So hit dollar sign user and then I've got an exclamation mark. So that's what my bot throws out when you first enter in and chat for the first time. Um, next one is my Fireboat bot shout out. And these are pretty cool. You've seen this already. It's got your picture up here and then your username. And then you can modify um, the message here and a last seen streaming, which you can turn on or off. You can set your background colors so that they have a little bit of uh, dark to light, a little gradient, set your text color. Um, last seen streaming. text. But here's my shout out text that, that goes here. So I've shell shock my friend. Um, again, dollar sign user will put the name in automatically is in the igloo. Um, and this name up here is the username here. So just make sure you put uh, dollar sign user in here again, you can throw in the duration. And then you can select where on the screen you want it middle, middle left, middle right, top, bottom, or random. Okay, and there's a little bit of a delay effect there, or a second delay. And then you've got your play video, which will be green screen. Now you have to make sure you set up a uh, chroma key on um, your OBS software for the overlay. So when you set up Firebot, you're going to have an overlay channel um, at the top of your um, set of documents, which I think I can pull in here. Try not to get freaked out by the uh, multiple instances. So you'll see, oh no, maybe you won't see. Hang on, yes. Um, sorry, over here is my Firebot overlay. I've got my cam for me, and then I have my display window or game capture or window capture, depending on what I'm doing. Um, unfortunately, my setup here requires me to pretty much capture the window if I want to show you stuff. Um, so I'll slip that out again. Actually, let me slip that back in. I'm not really sure what you're using for your OBS software, but 
for this one, there's a little thing called filters, and this is my chroma key keyed into a green screen, and you can adjust values if you need to until you get a good effect. And then uh, something like this little video up here. still think that turtle should maybe go a little faster, but we'll see. Um, so you've got your play video, and then I like to add a personalized chat that I throw out as my streamer and just put in whatever uh, personal uh, welcome I, I want to throw in there. Again, using the user tag for name. I mean, I could hard code the name in, but that's kind of silly. Visit the channel at, and you'll have to write an HTTPS slash slash Twitch TV slash, and then you can use start user. And then basically that end part, you can just use from user to user to user. If you decide to set up something like this. Um, and so if I, no, wait, save that. Let me throw this back in here. This might look really weird, but now I can shrink that. Throw this over here. And if you watch my OBS window, I'm going to just hit this and then I'm going to have to switch back to OBS so you can see it. I'm going to trigger that. It throws up the little firebot and then plays the video of the uh, Okay, that looked really weird probably because I'm trying to do it with the uh, multiple instances there. That's I don't know. There it goes. That's what it's supposed to look like. Alright. So that's the more complicated one. Um, less complicated stuff are things like commands. So the shout out, if you want to make a quick shout out that looks uh, looks like the ones that I do, um, really it's just a trigger um, exclamation mark so, and then you type in the name and uh, permissions for it are either your streamer or moderators, so you can set permissions. Um, no, uh, I think you just tap this, right? Roles, and then streamer and moderator for permissions. Um, I've got a Firebox shout out, or Firebot, which is just the same thing I showed you in the other one except I've got it very generalized. It's hard to be personal when it's just a general uh, general use one. And I have a chat message that also throws out to chat. Just a basic same little message. And that's it for a shout out. Uh, you can do triggers with cooldowns. So I've got a 15 second cooldown on the word catfish. If someone types catfish in the uh, in the chat, anywhere in their message, I've got it set up to scan the whole message for the word catfish. It will play a uh, video. Um, if someone's used it recently and it hasn't been 15 seconds yet, they'll get the message the cat is still swimming back, it'll reach shore in and the amount of time. And the, the effect is just to play the uh, kind of cat launch video with the splash. So when they hit catfish, the cat flies out and goes Chris Splash. And you can do that with pretty much any word um, and make uh, make some fun effects in your channel for people to play with if you want. That's a quick wrap up of uh, Firebot, buddy. I hope that helps and uh, look forward to seeing you in stream.